Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Marco, and this is Exploration Gaming. My goal is always to help new and veteran players learn and enjoy every aspect of The Elder Scrolls Online. I want to give out secrets and tips, and also just clear up some of the confusion that always arises in a game that's this massive. We're trying to create a really positive ESO community where we can share insights and grow together. Elder Scrolls isn't perfect, no MMO is. It's the nature of the beast in a game that has so many players and so many opinions. I try to focus on the positive though, in games and in life, but I'll be brutally honest if the need arises. I hope you'll subscribe, like, and comment. It really does help the channel. I'm also interested to hear your thoughts on these videos. I hope you'll help me get better at providing great content. Today we're going to talk about the true endgame, housing. Now, new players are nearly always afraid of getting a house and dealing with decorating it. It feels overwhelming, I know, but it's just one of the most enjoyable parts of this game. ESO does furnishings better than any other MMO, period. There are literally thousands of items that you can craft or buy to make your house unique and special. I've been blown away by the creativity and time players put into their homes. You can also make a heap of gold crafting and selling beautiful furnishings. This is one of my surefire ways to make coin. Let me take you to my Doomchair Plateau house, a place I earned, by the way, for free in one of ESO's special event marathons. I use this place as a kind of a garage where I can dump stuff off. So I made some things which I will attempt to sell this week and let you know how it goes. So I made that big colonnade. It was pretty expensive. Here's a door. Um, a lot of lighting fixtures seem to sell really well. I try to make the more expensive items or the rarer items because they seem to sell well with people that have uh, tons of money to spare. This bookcase is one of the new items that seems to sell really well, as do these bathtubs. Anything vampire related sells well. These vampire drapes that you see back there, I sell those just like hotcakes. They sell all the time. Also lighting fixtures. I, I like these um, lighting fixtures that are from Clockwork City. I like stuff that's interactive that you can turn on and off. So, um, you know, I make stuff that I like because if it doesn't sell, then, you know, I can find a use for it in one of my houses. So I hope you like this quick tour and we'll see um, how much money I make off of selling these things. Now let's talk about buying furniture. Some people aren't into crafting or don't have their skills up yet. They just want to buy cool things for their house. You can shop at any guild trader and see what furnishings are for sale. It's also a good way to support the guilds that you're a member of. I often scour the traders and TTC for new furnishing plans so I can craft things on my own. Tamriel is also filled with special furnishing traders. Here's where it gets sort of complicated though. Based on in-game achievements that you earn, including special events, you can qualify to buy things from the achievement vendors in nearly every big city. There's also an achievement vendor that pops up next to the Empresario for event achievements. There is, however, only one luxury furnishing vendor. His name is Zanil Theran, and you can visit him every weekend. He's north of the bank in Hollow City in Cold Harbor. Warning though, he's only there on Saturdays and Sundays, so you need to plan accordingly. His selection of furnishings changes every single week. I'll have a link in the description to a site where you can check out what he's featuring. As you can see from the video, I loved that greenhouse, which was very expensive, and I basically bought everything he had for sale this week. The collectibles furnishings are furnishing items which have certain special features. They're not found in your inventory, but instead in your collectibles menu, and thus they don't take up any backpack space. Once acquired by one character, they can be accessed by all the characters on your account. These are things like the armory station or house guests. Furnishing vendors can be seen on your map. They're marked by a chair logo. They have stalls or are found in marketplaces or inns, and they fall into a few categories. 
Home good furnishers have basic generic stuff like stones and plants and tables, but sometimes they have exclusive wares that relate to their zone. Achievement furnishers, however, sell items that are related to the zone's story. You usually have to complete several tasks before their items are available to you. The master Rit guy and his sidekick also have plans and furniture that are exclusively available to purchase with Rit vouchers, not gold. There's also a Sijik vendor, he's on RTM, with special recipes. And of course, there are additional vendors for Battlegrounds and Cyrodiil. So you can see, it's a lot to take in. But you decorate slowly, piece by piece. And you really should visit other people's houses, see what they're doing. There are also YouTube content creators who feature tours of really great homes. My favorite is a very sweet German lady named Tienlin. I hope you'll start buying or making furnishings in ESO. If you have any questions, or you just want to chat with me, you can follow my Twitch channel. I'm going to try to be on every day, so come and keep me company. As always, I'm Marco with Exploration Gaming. Be kind to each other, and keep exploring.